everybody knows on my channel that Joe V is my favorite rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> hey. How did you get, well, everybody knows on my channel that Joe V is my favorite rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> hey, so and the, rumors, the rumor has it that you were supposed to do We Dumb Niggas with Joe V. Uh, and then somehow we are here with King B, which I think is a better choice anyways. So if that was the case, what, what do you respond to that? What happened? Well, you know what I mean? I mean, me and Jovi started having a good rapport, you know what I mean? Like, we was kicking it, like, through a metro, mutual friend. Actually, the same guy that linked us up linked me and Jovi up from oh, nice. Twitter. Yeah. So we, we, we started connecting and stuff. You know, um, you know, with the corona shit, we was on a three-day lockdown in Sierra Leone. So he hit me up one morning. Like, um, he was like, yo, I like the beat. I sent him a beat. I'm like, yo, let's do something, you know what I mean? Because I already start having fans in Cameroon, even without working with a Cameroonian rapper or nothing. The fan base is already starting to grow over there. So I'm like, all right, let's do something. So to just solidify the thing, the movement. You know, he was all for it. You know, I sent him the beat. And then 20 minutes later, he sent me a verse on WhatsApp. You know, like, you know, just recorded some shit. And I was excited. So, you know me, I have to step back to the plate. Because, you know... I wrote the hook right there. I wrote my first verse, sent it right back to him on WhatsApp. So it was, it was all game, ready to go. You know what I mean? But next thing you know, um, when I went to the studio after the coffee, I recorded the whole song, sent it to Jovi. Um, the brother came back. Where the disagreement came was on the last verse. Jovi just wanted to do a 16, and he was not trying to go back and forth. You know what I mean? So um, I felt like, yo, bro, just step to the play. Let's do this. It's a classic. You see Styles P and J to do it. AZ and Nas does it. You know what I mean? It's something for hip hop. Let's just go back and forth. But I think the brother was not trying to do that. So right. he like, all right, come on. What's you know that? Why, you know why he didn't want to do that? Well, I don't know. For the best reason, he has his reasons, you know. I don't want to disrespect the brother because, um, you know, he backed out of it. It ain't hit me back. So King B was already on my phone, like, hit me up. He wanted a collab from day one. You know what I mean? He's been telling people already we go and do songs. So I'm like, all right, this brother right here is ready to go. Let's jump in the, in the studio. I hit him up. He was down. He recorded his verses, sent them exactly what I wanted, and then the song, you know what I mean, was ready to go. But Jovi, like, we've been in touch even after the song came out, you know, out of mutual respect, you know what I mean? So much respect to Jovi, no disrespect, you know what I mean? He's doing his thing out in Cameroon. Let me ask you, since you heard it, we haven't heard Joey's verse. Do you think, <laughs> nah, maybe, I don't know if he, he, he choose not to answer. It's up to you. Do you think that he, he did a good job on that track based on what, what he did? Well, you know what I mean? Like, um, and I, you I don't think, have to, you know, I mean, he did, he did, he did what his fans like him for. You know what I mean? Let me put it that way. He did what his fans like and respect him for, you know? Okay. That's what he did. I'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jovi, man. Shout out to my Cameroonian fans, man. Shout out to Jovi, man. Jovi, it's all love, baby. I just can't yeah. rock with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not rocking with you, but it's all good. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, next up is, uh, we still on the beef, man. We still on the topic of beef, yeah. Oh, um, before we move on from that, uh, Kim B, people were asking, you going to sign Kim B? It was asking what? If you're going to sign Ken B to Black Leo. Wow. Um, well, you know, I, w I want the relationship to grow, you know, to where me and the brother, like, you know, I'm in vibe more, you know what I mean? Like, but I know he has a lot of respect for me, you know what I mean? Like, he respect what I've, I've, what I've been doing, and, like, he's a very humble guy, you know what I mean? So the doors are open, like, you know what I mean? Black Leo is open for King B. Like, we're looking for, definitely, we want to get representatives in different countries in Africa, in Ghana, in Cameroon, in Kenya, in South Africa. So, don't be surprised, man. Anything is possible. But right now, me and the brother, we're just building our relationship. You know, as exactly. it grows, you never know. Mm. Word. 
So what's up? How did you get into it with Lil' Good Joe, man? My man, Elgin. Elgin. I rate that guy, man. I really do. That's my guy. <laughs> so let's talk about Elgin, man. Before we start talking, what do you, how do you rate Elgin? Well, I mean, your honest opinion about him. You know, beef aside. He's, he's I, you know what I mean? He's I. Like, he got some slick lines, you know what I mean? I think Lyrical Joe is one of them rappers that just focus on punchlines, you know what I mean? And having smart wordplay, you know what I mean? To where, you know what I mean? Like, like on some Cassidy type shit, you know mm. what I mean? A nigga that's all about the punches and that's very intricate with his shit, you know? That's how I see him, you know? What do you like, but about, I that? Think, what do you like about that? What's what that? I said, what do you like about that? And what don't you like about it? And what advice can you give him, if any? I feel like, you know, you see why rappers like Cannabis and Cassidy never grew or never blew? It's because that's all they was doing. You know, just focusing on wordplay and, you and know people, what I mean, slick line. And, and people didn't get it. People didn't get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I mean, you see, when Eminem did Cleaning Out My Closet, yeah. Ain't no pun lines in that. That was passionate. It was just about his emotions. Passionate. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta come, come with your passion and your emotions in music for people to really feel attracted to you and be attached to you. I think Lyrical Joe doesn't have that right now. Maybe as an artist, he will grow into that because it's not all about punchlines and intricate lines. It's bigger than that. You know what I mean? That's what I realized. You know what I mean? I could have been a Cassidy or somebody that's just focused on punchlines and battle rap but no you know what i mean sometimes you can do a whole song where you don't put out a punchline on the on the verse but you're just trying to connect with people you're just trying to connect with people on a higher level so i think that's the kind of rapper who lyrical joe is i think he's okay you know he's a young guy maybe he'll grow you know what i mean into like song creation where you can make songs like you know jay-z did song cry you know yeah. people can yeah People can relate to song records like that. It's not about punchline. You know what I'm saying? I got to make a song cry. Come yeah. on. But hey, I love the same line. What do you think about Manifest? The Manifest? Because Manifest is, is kind of that too, in a way. So what do you think about him? Do you listen to him? Manifest is dope. He's decent. You know what I mean? I think it's decent. But um, you see, like, like I'm saying now, hip-hop is easy for you to be categorized in hip-hop. And once they put you in a bag, for you to come out of that bag, it's very difficult. I, I can tell you Manifest is like a common sense. He's like a Talib Kweli. Talib, you know yeah, what I mean? Talib. Yeah. It's going to be hard for that brother to get out of that bag. You know what I mean? It's like Talib Kweli is dope. Most death is dope. Common yeah. sense is dope. But you can never really, really compare those rappers to like Eminem or Jay-Z or Nas. Mm. You know what I mean? Because those other three rappers, they do what man, what most Def does, but then they do what most Def can do. That you know true. what I mean? Yeah. You got to be the rapper that can do that, you know, backpack hip hop, but then you can still make records that can transcend. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so then how did you get involved with Lyrical Joe Beef, though? Well, you know what I mean? I think Lyrical Joe, like, he just got involved in the shit. Like, he, it was not his, you know what I mean? This was not his beef, you know what I mean? But I guess he was trying to be the hero, you know? Like, this this was a Sakoti beef, you know what I mean? This was not his beef, you know? But um, I guess he had beef with Jovi or whatnot. You know what yeah. I mean? Him and Jovi have been going at it, you know, for some time. Yeah, I think, like, since I dropped Kenyatta, his yeah. name been popping up. Like, whenever Ghanaians come, they always be like, oh, bring this shit to Lyrical Joe. You know what I mean? They always used to say that since I dropped Kenyatta. So I've already been looking at them like, okay, this is the guy they really want to send at the forefront. You know what I mean? Uh, um, a lot of people didn't want me to respond to Lyrical Joe from my side. It was like, Kyle, let him be. I, honestly, you know I, I'll be honest, I don't know if you watched my reaction to it. I'm like, yo, I don't know if Lyrical Joe is enough to bring you to the booth. Boy, was I lying. I'm like, this nigga dropped that shit in 24 hours. <laughs> I, have two more. I have two more that I didn't drop. So, you know, no. look, I, so when, when you did the track, a bunch of um, other Sierra Leoneans uh, artists came out with a bunch of this track. Which one you personally did you like the most if you heard some of them? 
and also you mean, uh, towards lyrical Joe or yeah, towards in Lil general Lil towards lyrical Joe, um, and also oh, yeah. who do you who do you see is like the future of Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone uh, music um, once you're gone, like coming up, up and coming out of this? Well, there was this cat from England. I don't know what his name was, but he has this British accent. Is it Shakes? Not DJ, DJ, DJ something. That's Shakes, man. I, I try to. I want you to do some shit, bro. Homie's nice. Son is nice. Hey. He's nice. If you want to link up, I got his number, yeah. No doubt, no doubt, man. You know what I mean? He's definitely decent. Like he, he came out with some shit. And then, um, I don't know, he dropped another song, and then uh, I did a reaction, and I, I, I titled it, Cal De Niro Better Watch His Ass. I don't know if you've seen that shit. <laughs> and, I mean, if you haven't seen it, you better go check that shit out. You know? I'm going to check was, it out, man. He, he I'm going to check it out. Homie got his shit. I'm going to send you the, um, the link to that shit. He was dropping some bars, man. But yeah, no homie, uh, he's nice, and he makes his own beat, too. So maybe y'all can, uh, can link up. And, uh, no doubt, and, no doubt. Do something, man. I mean, but it's yeah. decent, you know. With regards to um the future of Sierra Leone hip hop, there's a lot of young cats doing their thing, you know what I mean. But like when it comes to originality and somebody that's dope, I think um there's this cat called Drizzy Leak. There's a young nigga, Drizzy Leak okay. is dope, he's fire. I heard he the name. People have dropped me uh dropped me like a link to go check him out and react to it. I haven't done it, but yeah, I've heard that yeah. name. I was Okay. Yeah, Drake Delic is decent. He, he got some shit. Like, watch out for him, you know what I mean? There's, um, my cousin is dope, too. He doesn't just do it, like, you know what I mean? He plays around with hip-hop, super large. You know yeah. what I mean? Super large is definitely dope. He's my first cousin. He's out there in Brooklyn, in New York, you know what is I mean? From super Fort Green. Hold on, let me ask you a question before, you, before I forget. Is super large different from large? Yes, 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 yes. So is large... large Large. Yeah, that's a different rapper. It's totally different rapper. Super Large is the Black Leo representative. Who the fuck came out first? Super Large came out first. Why the fuck that nigga the king? He couldn't come up with any other name? That's my thing. I think it was disrespectful. He was doing it intentionally. What you know the what I mean? Yeah. Now I don't but like it. I don't know it's about not it. Good. <laughs> hey, I heard, I heard you because like for a second I'm like, is this super like you go against your own cuss? I wasn't getting it, but I guess different people then. Okay. All right, yeah. all right. That's all good. I think they got the same name. Like in Sierra Leone, anybody's name with Alaji, if your name is Alaji, right? Okay. You call it short as large. Ah. That's like, yeah. Yeah, ah. and they both got the same name, Alaji. Got you, got you, got you. What the fuck they That's went to uh, they went to Mecca or something like that, man. Come on, man. You can't go <laughs> they got to think about that. Yeah, you know <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Hey, let's move on, man. Let's move on. Hey, yo, what up? What up? It's your boy, man. I'm Kyle De Niro. I'm rocking with you, DKA Entertainment. You already know what it is, man. Let's get it popping. That's it, man. Hey, y'all heard him, man. Y'all heard him, man. That's your king. Mr. Kiss the Throne, Mr. Donald Trump, Mr. Rap Extinguisher, Mr. Whatever the fuck you wanna call him, man, Mr. I Rep the Hill, yo. Come on, man. 